Hi cuties, welcome back to a cleaning video actually. Today I'm cleaning my rabbit's area, deep cleaning. So obviously I clean every single day because when you have a rabbit you need to clean all the time. There's hay everywhere, there's these little poop thingies around her toilet. She is potty trained, she doesn't poop or pee anywhere else but her toilet. But when she jumps out sometimes poop comes flying out and there's just these little hard ones, they don't smell or anything. That's also another common mis misconception about rabbits is that they smell, they don't. If you take care of them, they don't smell. Their poop don't smell, their toilet don't smell. So I actually have the toilet in the kitchen and it doesn't smell, you can't tell anything. So yeah, I gotta show you my deep cleaning routine in her area so every I guess I could also do like a daily cleaning routine like rabbit cleaning routine because as I said I do clean daily uh, deep cleaning is just more like I remove all the rugs and I clean it out completely daily I just like do a little bit of vacuum cleaning sweep around I don't like shake the carpets or anything so uh, and this deep cleaning I do about Hmm, I would say maybe every second week, something like that, probably. I'm not sure, it really depends. It really depends on how much mesh mess she makes, but uh, something like that. Yeah, I, I don't deep clean all the, uh, that often because I don't really need it. But today, I was thinking, why not I actually deep clean not that long ago, but it's messy again, so why not do it again? I'm gonna show you. Before I get started, don't forget to follow my Instagram, Little Daisy Art, and my ASMR channel, Misha ASMR. Everything's linked down below in my description box, so just click the links and you will get to the to my Instagram or my ASMR channel. If you want any other rabbit videos, let me know. I'd be happy to make them, but don't, I mean, if people don't wanna see it, then you know, whatever. But maybe. Let me know. I know you guys love my, my dog and my rabbits. <laughs> maybe that's a good, maybe you want to see Nini's more and Tina. Anyways, let's get started. All right, we are in Nini's area. This is what it looks like right now. This is like daily mess, so this is nothing. <laughs> Nothing. But I am going to remove the rugs and shake them and stuff. Her toilet, mm, it is a little messy. Yeah, I could change it. Usually I would wait another day because this is not really that much. So you can see there's little poops here that fall out. I will refill that bag. I will clean this like with this spray. And yeah, vacuum clean. And I think I'm gonna clean the floor too with this like, I'll show you. <laughs> The first thing we do is remove everything off the floor. She loves to chew on this, as you can clearly see. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to put this here. Maybe I can just put it like that. For now, that's fine. Sorry, Nini's, but I removed your rugs. She always comes here when I'm cleaning. She's like unsure because there's no rugs and she just doesn't like when the floor is slippery. <laughs> She's also scared of my camera stand. Okay, she going? Bye bye. So I have this to clean the floor. I think it's like lemon something. I don't know. She's not here now. She ran off. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to clean out here when she's not here. I should do this more often. Like this, like cleaning the floor like this. I don't do it that often. <laughs> 
while this dries, I will wash off her bowl and her plate. I do that every day, so you know. The everyday stuff I do in my deep cleaning stuff as well. Mm -hmm. I will give points to the people who know what song that is or where that song comes from. That's Cleaning's toilet and her plates. What I do is I take a big plastic bag like this because this one is harder to put into the bag, which I did with the other one she had before, but it was too small now. So I got her this one instead. I hold it up. Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna put it in here. The newspaper has pee on it and all that stuff, but that's fine. Great. Once I do this, she has other water sources throughout the house. So that's no problem. For this, I have a separate sponge that I use specifically for this. I also have a separate towel to clean it off later, or to dry it, sorry. So for those of you who wonder, my rabbit is four years old. She is a lion head and uh, I think it's called Hall and Lop mix. I know that she's a lion head, I mean, just look at her. But she's not fully lion, lion head. I think she's Hall and Lop. I adopted her. Uh, three, four years ago or something like that. And now she's mine. Great. I take some random newspaper because that's what I use for sucking up the, the pee, basically. My dad has a lot and my grandma also has a lot, so that's where I get them from. It's pretty handy. Sometimes it's funny when you see someone in the newspaper that you don't like and you put them at the top so Nini's can pee on them. <laughs> Pretty immature, but I love it. And I shouldn't laugh, but I love it. Then I have these pellets that you use for cats. Uh, but I mean, it works. It's just paper. So I use this too. I do need the bigger scoop though. Great. Then in here, I get this stuff and there's some hanging here. Poop on this. Hay bag. Here is some hay that spilled out. Then I'll put it back here. Like this. Okay, so for in here, I'm using this one, the pink stuff. The Miracle Multipurpose Cleaner, vegan, yay. So we'll just spritz a little bit in here because sometimes there tend to be little pee stains. This one smells so good. I put her little rug back, the toilet. This is what I do since it doesn't fit. Okay, so like that. And then I fill this one up because it's getting empty. <clears throat> I want to get her a little thingy that I can put here so I can fill up hay in like a box thingy. For now, she has this and some hay in her toilet. We'll keep our hay in here. It's kind of ugly. No, I'll keep it there. Don't forget to wash your hands. If anyone knows a better way to fill this, let me know because it is pretty annoying.
Of course, there's always a mess when I do this. That's what happens. Just clean it up. I stuff it full. Something like this. Look at that. Wow. Okay, and then it's messy here again. Great. Look at this. Let's have this one open. Yay! This one, she just likes to play here. That's why I do this occasionally. Like she poops a little bit in here. No big deal. But she likes to dig around at this actually. So I put some newspapers and hay in here. Okay, I can't do that. Yep, messy again. Should really do this at first, but you know, I don't always think, I just do. Since she did pee in here, I'm just gonna clean this up too. Done. So I'll just take newspaper and tear them apart. Put it in here for her. and uh, looks like this she still likes it so it can be there why not all right so her toys do need some organizing just a little bit since nothing fits i'm not sure this one will fit at all it's already like falling off I'm done cleaning so I am kind of transforming my rabbit's area a little bit so right now it is a little bit empty and kind of boring and kind of ugly to be honest I have some things that I want to do I want to buy a new rug for ninis and like other things so that's coming later so that's why it looks a little bit empty but that's my deep cleaning my rabbit's area routine I hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the like button if you want more rabbit content please let me know down below and I'll see what I can do and don't forget to follow my Instagram Lodesar don't forget to follow Follow my well my dogs and my rabbits count fairy babies no 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 fairy besties <laughs> I will link down below and thank you so much for watching I will see you in my next video don't forget to leave a comment leave a like if you liked it and I will see you in my next video love you bye